Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Hugh here, bringing you another Hollywood movie magic in VR 180. This is an 8K 3D VR 180 video. You should really look around in your VR headset. Today, we are going to talk about how to move a VR 180 camera that does not make your audience sick in a VR headset. And on top of that, I'm going to teach you how to build a budget but professional motion control system for creative VR 180 filmmaking. Meanwhile, so what is motion control? Can you guess which clone is the real hue? The camera is moving slowly, and I feel awkward because my clone is staring right at me. Weird. So, here is the clone. I am the real hue. Or am I? And you are moving in the 3D space. Most YouTubers know how to clone themselves easily if the camera is not moving static. But it's usually pretty hard if the camera is moving because timing has to be perfect. Right, Hugh? I, I don't care, guys. I don't care which one is the real Hugh. I, I'm just here for my lunch. Just let me eat. Which of you that took my lunch? Several bad puns later. Let's get back to motion control. Motion control is the ability to control motion on a repeatable basis. The key use of motion control is to allow you to shoot multiple subjects, two or more, with the same camera move, usually with a camera robot. When you combine them together in Hollywood movie magic post-production, they look like they are filmed at the same time, like my clones around me or like Austin Powers or Dr. Evil. Such a clone trick is actually very easy to do with a stationary 360 camera like the Insta 360X3, but extremely hard to do with a moving camera or very expensive to do. To make it even more difficult, we are going to teach you how to do it in 3D in AK VR 180. So let's go! Stay till the end of this video to check out some brand new VR 180 video sample of two upcoming VR 180 cameras. One with two full frame sensors and the other one with two APS-C sensors. And news on a new consumer VR 180 camera with two 1 inch sensors. Figuring out how to move a VR camera that does not make people sick is crucial for filmmaking. Camera movement helps communicate characters' emotional change and the progression of the story, like what you see here in our latest VR film, Vanilla Lily, or it can be used to direct viewers' attentions in a vast 180 space, like this VR 180 cooking show for Vivian from the famous Cooking Bomb YouTube and TikTok channels. Available soon on MetaQuest TV. Check the link on the top right corner right now. Let's go back to the camera movement on Vanilla Lily, which is filmed on a gimbal in Paris. The motion is still too much for anyone new to VR film. Rewatch this part in your VR headset now. To move your VR 180 camera or 3D 360 camera smoothly, we recommend building some kind of track system, just like what Hollywood does on all their production but on a very affordable budget. First, let me show you in 3D what is my setup. We have the Cam TV Power Dolly Kit, as you see right here, on a rail system. The rail system makes sure my tripod and camera travel on a track exactly the same each time with very smooth motion. Since each motion is exactly the same, now all you need is smart directing and blocking of your talents. As you see here, I don't have any help, just myself. So I just film myself three times with different outfits. If I mess it up the timing or the script, we'll just do it again, knowing that the camera movement is exactly the same each time. This is also a great setup for a one-man home studio exactly like this. The benefit compared to the traditional slider system is that the Cam TV system can travel a lot further, hold heavier cinema camera equipment, and for VR 180, easily hide the slider by creating distance between the camera and the tracks. In post-production, 
you can just simply mask each character back in the scene, as you see right here. Since the camera motion is exactly the same, you can easily animate that mask without worrying about matching each take. A both cinema robot motion control system can easily cost 300,000 US dollars. My system here is less than a thousand dollars. Now, let me show you my budget motion control system in great detail so you can build yours to add motion on your next VR film project. Okay, now let's talk about all the gear right here. So right here, this whole thing is a cam TV, motorized slider leg, allow you to put a tripod like this one on top of it. We have some of my gimbal system right here, stabilization suit, but also the most important thing is the camera. So filming me with the is the Canon R5C, but we also had the Canon R5 right here. Let's talk about it real quick. Let's turn it on. Uh, this screen is not that bright, as you see, you can't even see on uh, my chest camera right here. Uh, but that's why we have right here the port key. This is the port key, uh, I believe it's a PD61 or P61. This is a very affordable little screen that have really high net, come with a little visor right here to allow you to see the image clearly. So you look at the graph in here, but then here you can see it. This is a touch screen, by the way. We like zoom in like 10 times, more than the Canon can. And it's come with the media HDMI, it goes straight to the, to the port key. So it's a very affordable, lightweight, little, uh, as you see, like, we got a tiny battery, can last all day. So really lightweight, affordable uh, display. So it also comes with this little thing right here, so you can do stuff like, like this when you're filming, right? Uh, it's really great, so I highly recommend it. Well, next thing we want to talk about is right here. The tripod system. This is a UNI-Z MT59. It's a brand new tripod system that designed for VR 180 filmmaking. Why is that? So look at that. I'll, ch I'll show you guys how cool this thing is. So when it comes with it, it's just a regular tripod. Oh yeah, it's not a transformer. So regular tripod. So it come with just a, like a regular tripod with Arca Sweet Play. Yeah, it's a regular standard tripod. You can do the standard tripod thing uh, when you carry it around. By the way, it's fully metal built, super solid. It's a professional tripod. It's not carbon fiber. It's not uh, designed for light, but it's designed for sturdy and reliable. You can just turn it into a monopod. If you want a one-end gun right here, you can turn the walking stick monopod and put a camera on top right there. And then you do a one-end gun VR 180 if speed is what you need. I'm not using it as a regular tripod. So let me show you how I'm, I'm gonna use it. So when you untie this knob right here, Actually, this one, this is a turning knob. You go up, it's a secret button right here. Hopefully you see it. Button right here, you click it, you go up, and then you will lock it right here. But when you untie this knob, boom, the whole thing, untie it, fall. So you can do like, you can, Obviously, you can do a low angle shot, but that's not what we do today. Uh, hopefully you see it, it's a little marker right here to tell a degree marker. See it, the marker. And how do I know it's 90 degree? Like right here, when this is in 90 degree, you can lock it. So now this is a 90 degree setup right here if the leg is fully extended. And then you lock it right here. Again, you can just, uh, you know, the, the how far you want to go out from here, you don't need to go that far, you can mark down right here. It's already, the leg will already disappear. So it depends on your camera. Uh, but you can also do stuff like this. You know, if you need more height, right? Now the leg is not fully extended, but it can fully extend. You know what? Let me fully extend for you guys to see, to see how high this thing is. So this is uh, way higher than our tripod tripod, which we already review it. Uh, it's already like reaching my eye level right here. So this thing, you can also, it's a bow head. Very sturdy bow head. Like, very sturdy. So one of the really well-built bow head that I see United States always make really well-built gear. So that is already reaching like normal American pe people high. I'm a little bit higher. I'm kind of Croatian. But if you want to get higher, you can actually do that easily by just untie this knot right there and get some degree. Boom, right there. Right? And then fully extend this thing. So you still got a full clearance uh, on the leg. Uh, because when you're 90 degree, you only need to go down to here. You got full clearance. But if you want to rise up, you can go all the way up in here and then adjust the ball head to level it. Boom, now you have my head high. If you want to film high angle VR 180 for some reason, you can do that 
on this tripod without putting Apple boxes underneath it. So it's a really great travel tripod and I highly recommend the UNI-Z MT59 for VR warranty filmmaking. You can build different kind of track using this lightweight metal pipes. We are going to build a quarter circle to a straight line path because of the limited space in my backyard. As you see, they are very easy to connect thanks to the magnetic system. I don't connect the end just yet as my ground is not perfectly level. The whole system is powered by this small 90 watt V-Lock battery here. It will last you all day. Now put the Yuling Z MT59 onto the power dolly legs, adjusting the height of the camera. Usually you want your VR one the camera has the same height as your talent's eye line. So now you level the camera. The trick here is look at the line right here. Hopefully you see it. Uh, uh, you don't adjust here first because it's just front heavy. So we want to adjust the leg right here, loosen it up, move it until you see the green line there. It's kind of level. By the way, the camera is also not level on this sense right here. Everything's locked. So untie this one, turn it like that until the line is green. Yeah, great. And then, very important step, you want to put a sandbag secure the whole system right here you can put a lot of weight on this system by the way because it's on the ground it's not a slider so you can put a lot of weight on it but we'll put a sand back and secure the system and now everything secures and we are ready to shoot now let's switch gears and talk about all the new VR 180 cameras coming into the market this year FXG maker of FM Duo is releasing not one not two but three new VR cameras this year the FM Duo Plus, the upgrade version of the FM Duo, is the world's first 12K VR 1D cameras featuring two full-frame sensors inside. As you see the image quality here shot on the FM Duo Plus, it is pretty ridiculous. This is not gonna be an affordable option and it's going to be a lot more expensive than my Canon R5C with the dual fish eye list. So FSG listened to its consumer and releasing a second VR 1D camera called FM Dream featuring two APS-C sensors and up to 8K 50 frames per second VR 180. This is a music video shot on the FM Dream you are watching. The quality is on part with the Canon R5C. Watch this video on MetaQuest TV with AK cache download to really see the uncompressed image quality. The third camera is a 12K 360 camera called FM Duo S. So for those monoscopic 360 video shooters, this dual full frame sensor 360 camera is definitely something you are looking for. The sensor distance is around 4.5 cm, making it very easy to stitch in post-production with software like Mystica VR. I don't have any of those cameras just yet, but when I do, which is very soon, I will do an in-depth technical review for you guys. So hold on to your wallet and save up. We also just got news. Techie, the maker of 360 Anywhere, is releasing a consumer-grade small-body VR 1D camera with two 1-inch sensor. The camera can shoot up to 8K 30 frames per second VR 1D and can fit into your pocket. It will be released in the middle of 2023. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss the latest news and deals on VR camera and gears. If I can find you a discount on any of the cameras or gears in this video, it will be listed in the description down below. Please also connect with me on Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn. We will release all the hot news there first and more in-depth reviews on YouTube. You don't want to miss out. See you in the metaverse.